Hello and welcome to this video on hot linking. So let me explain to you why you want to hot link your files. And this includes any type of file on your website. Could be audio files, could be video files, could be images. What this does is it basically says and tells the system that the only way that let's say a video or an audio can load on your website is if it is actually coming from your website. So in other words, what that means is when somebody clicks on the video, the system will detect that that click is coming from your website. Or let's say you have another website and you want to allow people from that website or that website itself to access your images, your videos, and load it. So that is what hot link protection is. Hot linking is the opposite of protection, obviously, but that basically means that somebody else who has not gotten your permission has placed your images, your videos on their website. Now, if you have hot link protection enabled, they will not be able to load your images or your videos, unless of course they download it and upload it to their web hosting company. But for the most part, most people are lazy that do that. So they'll simply try to link to that particular link. But if you have hot link protection on, then you will, will be able to protect yourself. Now, if you think about it and you might think, well, that's not a big deal. The reason why it's a big deal is because if somebody else has a site that has a lot of traffic, or maybe you have videos and the videos add up to about a gig. So if they send, let's say they link to your, your zip files or your audio files and your video files, they are using your bandwidth. So as you know, if you're utilizing a web hosting company that you pay for bandwidth. So you might only, let's say, for example, get about a hundred gigabytes of bandwidth. If somebody else is using that, they're basically taking from you and stealing from you and you're having to pay for it. So that's basically what hot linking is. And this is the protection. Now this method only works if you have the C panel. And if your web hosting company does not use cPanel, they may have some sort of hot linking protection. You'll need to contact them and contact the support. But for the majority of you who are utilizing the cPanel web hosting panel, this is going to work for you. So all you need to do is simply log in and look for the hot link protection link here. Go ahead and click on that. And here we are. So now what you need to do is simply go down to this box. It says URLs to allow access. So you can enter your domain. So you're going to want to enter www.yourdomain.com. So obviously whatever your domain is, you're also going to want to enter HTTP colon slash slash. And then we're going to copy this over yourdomain.com. So just in case somebody links the HTTP version or without the HTTP version. Now, if you use HTTPS, you might want to do that. Now, what other URLs would you want to allow access to? So maybe you have a sister site. So your sister site.com and you want to allow your sister site to access the images, the videos, the audios, and all the above or the zip files, you can do that. So basically this is kind of the white list or the safe list that has access to your files. Now, if you scroll down, it's going to say block direct access to the following extensions. So even though you have this, you're still going to need to enter the extensions. So for example, if you upload MP3 files, you'll need to include that there. If you have zip files, include that there. If you have MP4 video files, you'll need to include that there. So whatever extensions that you want to protect, you need to enter that here. 
And the way you find that out is simply by going to your Mac or your PC and it'll tell you the extension. And you simply enter that here. And that's it, all you have to do is that and once you're done, you just click enable and that's it and you're good to go.